good morning. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to congratulate uh, the Belgian Presidency for its remarkable achievements uh, so far at a time of great transition for our own union and also at a time of great uh, geopolitical uh, change. Yesterday, we were given the opportunity uh, by the Belgian Presidency to join our enlargement partners to celebrate 20 years uh, since the historic accession of the 1st of May of 2004, that also saw the accession of Cyprus uh, in an accession that saw 75 million Europeans join uh, the European Union, our common home, the greatest political project of the 20th century. Um, the Union is very much uh, a project that evolves. It is very much uh, a project that is transformative for countries that choose to follow this path. Uh, today, uh, we are joined by our enlargement partners uh, to discuss um, rule of law in the enlargement process. Rule of law is the cornerstone of the European Union. It is a core value that we need not take for granted, but rather that we need to promote and strengthen. A message is very clear. Um, enlargement is a transformative process for those that choose to follow it. It is a merit-based process uh, that is based on strict and fair conditionality with each country assessed uh, on its own merits. And this is very much a message that we convey to our partners as we support them uh, in their path and where they deliver, we stand ready to uh, deliver uh, as well. Enlargement has gained uh, a renewed momentum given the uh, geopolitical changes that uh, we are witnessing. Uh, and uh, in, this, in this context, uh, the Union stands as a, as a beacon of stability and peace uh, and prosperity uh, in the world. Uh, it also stands for its unifying force. Um, uh, it, it, uh, it healed the wounds of war after the Second World War. It is in this unifying force that Cyprus, the last divided EU member state of the Union, aspires to. In our second session today, uh, we will discuss our own rule of law toolbox in the enlargement process. And then in our last session, uh, we will discuss the future of Europe and within this context of of course, we will discuss the issue of uh, internal reforms. Thank you very much. What message are you going to Georgia? That where Georgia, uh, a partner of this union, delivers in its accession path, in its European perspective, the EU stands to deliver as well. What is important is to remain committed to the reform path, is to remain committed to EU values and principles. Thank you. Thank you.